Okay, so we're going to add a nice big sub base to the bottom of our track just to really fill out the, the lower end of it. I'm just going to right click, um, add a new track and add a new instrument track. And again, bring in our silent one. And if we just go in to the silent, I'm going to hit Alt and K. And just bring our transport bar over. So we're going to preview this in our keyboard now. I'm just going to initialize the preset. So we're going to go for the um, good old sine wave here. To put a nice bottom thud. And we'll even pitch that down an octave. So we get a nice real deep, deep bass. And we're going to add another sine wave over to the right. And have it an octave above and bring the volume of it back. And we'll change the phase slightly. Because we don't want both playing the same phase. And then we'll do a low pass on it. It's very similar to what we've got on our other instruments because it's going to have the same sort of womp happening with it. I'll turn the drive up slightly. So get a real thick bass now and we'll turn the cutoff frequency up and add a touch of distortion with the drive control. And we'll do the same with the pitch. We'll add a slight touch of uh, pitch bend at the very start. You won't, can't really hear it. Just to keep it constant with the rest of our track. And then we'll add a cutoff AB at the bottom right. Turn the gain up. And the phase is going to change, or the, the rate's going to change. We're going to copy the automation across. Turn the, uh, the amount up as well. And then we'll just get rid of that. That's all we need to do there. We've got a nice thick bass, and if we just copy down our distorted bass here, um, so Alt and click that down, and that'll copy across. And if we just open this up, we can see what we've got. So we're going to hit the R button so that um, it's going to read the automation lines, and we're going to delete the panning automation. And we're going to set this to the center. Make sure we've got nothing else automating. So we've got our volume automating there. We want to delete that. We don't want it automating. And I think that's all we change. So we can get rid of these. So it's just the, the rate is changing. And we'll set the volume of the track just up to zero. And we'll have a listen to this. And we'll just get rid of this... Uh, extra bit that we put into the phase base. If we just double click and get rid of those F1 and F0 drop. So we can just rename this to sub base. And then in the next tutorial, we're going to bring in uh, another falling bass sound, which is going to fill some of those gaps in the, the track that we've got playing.